In the future, people, children, will be educated in different cultures, different value systems, what different people believe. All over the world, they will travel, live with Italian families, Greek families, to get the feel of the culture. Most Americans, when they travel to France, they go to the American club. They go to Italy, they go to the American club. You don't get the feel of the other country when you do that. So if you get the feel of people, you find out they're pretty much the same. They all like their kids. They all want the same thing. So the way you bridge the difference between nations, no matter how different their culture is, don't touch their religion or their social customs that you don't agree with. All nations need the same thing, clean air, clean water, arable land, and a relevant education. Relevant education means how to maintain nature, keep it at best, keep the waters clean, not dump stuff into the ocean, toxic material. Why do you have to write to Congress? Who the hell is that jerk that you have to write to say you want women's rights? He should be at the forefront of technology. When you fly in an airliner today, you don't write the pilot to say you've been flying at an angle for an hour and a half, straighten up. He knows his business. That's why you don't have to write it. And the navigator knows how to take you to Hawaii. But if you see icebergs coming up, you don't have to write the pilot to say, hey, where the hell are we going? Why and who are these jackasses you have to write? <laughs> they should know more about the future, about training, language, different customs, and be at the forefront of technology. That's what you do when you go to a doctor. You don't know enough about medicine. When he says you have cancer of the fifth lumbar, you say, what's that? And he shows you on a chart. See? So, so we have many people in government, politicians, they call, and they say things people like to hear. They say that because the only way they can get elected. Because they say most of you are wrong in the way you brought up. They'll never make it. You understand that? So politicians say things people like to hear. If a politician discovered that the earth was round, if you want to get along with people and they all believe it was flat, you can say, folks, it's a little round and a little flat. You can get along with most people. It isn't the business of science to get along with people. Our business is to say, if you believe the earth is flat, this is the evidence we have to show that it's round. Present the evidence. That's the best you can do. But when you cater to people's beliefs, you're holding back. You're dishonest. You're corrupt. That's why politicians can never be honest, because they depend on voting. They depend on people supporting them. So the people will support them if they're ignorant. And most people are, when I use the word ignorant, our society keeps us from learning certain things because it's difficult to maintain control over people if you bring them up to be free. You see, when people, if people are free, you have 4,000 different political parties. Now, you couldn't get anybody elected anywhere. So it's very difficult. The words we use, the language we use, you know, people say to me, have a nice weekend. Why don't they say, have a nice life? Why just a weekend? <laughs> They, you see, you don't even know it. You're brought up in crap up to here. So everything looks right and normal to you. If you're brought up by the Seminole Indians, you say you can have anything you want, what do you want? Well, I'd like a teepee that's, that doesn't require too much maintenance. What the hell do you expect them to ask for? And you ask an impoverished black family, maybe the husband, maybe, what would you like? You can have anything you like. So it's like a pool table paid for. So, so what do you think people ask for? Things within the culture that they live with. They don't. An Eskimo never dreams, all Eskimos, never dreams of walking on a palm fringe beach in the tropics. Can you understand? They've never been exposed to it, unless they've seen motion pictures or have traveled. So your dreams are always within your culture. You ask the amateur, what do you want? A decent job. They don't want a decent job, they want a personal car. They don't want a job. They want access to the necessities of life. So nobody, or very few people, drive the kind of car they want. They drive what they can afford. Very few people live in the kind of house they want to live in. They live in what they can afford. So what the hell's a democracy? It doesn't exist. Your, your, your choices are dependent on your purchasing power. You understand that, I'm sure. You can't go to the best doctor 
People are the best doctor you can afford. But that's not a sane society. You live in a society of advantages, and all the industries seek to maintain the cutting edge. And if that's the bottom line, is profit, then you can't have sanity. You can't have sustainability. But every country wants sustainability for themselves, their concept of sustainability. But the concept of sustainability that I talk about is everybody sharing all the Earth's resources, where there's no artificial boundaries that separate people, where you can travel anywhere in the world and to go to any school you want to without debt or payment of any kind, where doctors are brought up to enjoy making people well, but they will live well. Everybody will live well in the future. There's no need to have poor. And then you have organizations like the Red Cross, and all the kids organizations that do good is, you know, do good is making the earth, shaping the earth, and designing it so that you have no poverty, no hunger, no decency. Everybody in this culture is a prostitute. If you sing on TV, you sell toothpaste, you're prostituting your voice. Everybody in society that does work for another company, the minute you punch that time clock and go to work, you're in a dictatorship. The boss doesn't say, would you like a free week vacation, a month, or what? what would you like? Would you like to spend more time with your family? I haven't met any bosses like that. So when you go to work for a company, it's a dictatorship. If you type for 20 years for some corporation, then you retire, you know what you got up here when you retire? Corporate letters. You haven't learned in school how to relate, how to live, how to find meaning in your own life. So that's why I say, and more than many people do not understand it, we won't make the history books of the future. We're so corrupt, backward, and stupid. All the presidents of the United States, all the way back were jackasses. All of them. They were establishment. People in political office are put there to keep things as they are. I'm sorry about that. Pilots, aviation pilots, say in the United States, are good people. They go to church on Sunday, they believe in helping an old lady across the street, but they fly over cities and press a button and burn it all out and they go to sleep. People say, I wonder if they can sleep well at night. They sleep very well because they get a medal when they do that. And they get an X on the fuselage for every city you bomb. You get a little X so people respect you. You're a war hero. It kills a lot of people. We don't believe in armies and navies. We believe in training people as problem solvers so we can bridge the difference between nations. So anyone who doesn't understand that? Problem solvers. We have problems, not killing machines. So a soldier becomes a killing machine. He's given a super machine gun with a laser beam on it. The purpose of the laser beam, if it's on the person, that's where the bullets are going to go. So, uh, people say to me, well, are machines going to take over in the future? No, they're not. <coughs> machines don't give a damn. They don't, have, they don't care about things. They don't have feelings. So don't worry about machines. It's man that operates guided missiles. Think about it. It's man that drops bombs on cities. Not the machine. The machine carries the bomb. It was designed by another jackass. There's no airplane you can design that the army won't use if it works too well. There's nothing you can design that the military aren't looking for. Military people are stupid because they're brought up with a narrow vision of national defense. The real national defense is bridging the difference between nations, learning how to live together and share the Earth's resources. There's enough technicians today, if you don't believe me, go to any supermarket, you see a lot of food, hardware, wrenches, machines, or we can turn out things in abundance. What the hell are you selling things for? People should have access to these wonderful gifts that people have. So in the future, we eliminate money, you go to an access center, and access wherever you want. It's the same for doctors, lawyers, there's no lawyers in the future, there's no investment bankers, there's no brokers, there's nobody that contributes nothing to society. Everybody be brought up as a functional unit of society. Now if you go out here and look at your own cities,